Burra. Buh, 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 buh. I'm back a little bit anyway. I'm sorry. It's been like so long since I uploaded a video. My apologies. I hope you're doing well. I hope your family's doing well. I know a lot of stuff got wrecked in this market. Actually, we kind of scraped the bottom here. I think we're very, very, very near bottom. Uh, if we're not there already, there may be one last little whoop. You know what I mean? Don't let it shake you. I don't think it's going to stay down here long. I think it's going to pop back up. Um, not much has really changed. You know what I mean? Um, except the amount of corporations and governments and banks around the world who are orange pilled, man. They are hopping a aboard the Bitcoin train. And, um, you know, when you look at it like that, the fact that you beat them to the punch, it says a lot. It says a whole lot. You know what I mean? You're still ahead of like 98% of the world. You know what I mean? It's a pretty good spot to be in. Um, today, you know, I, I try not to just talk about price all the time because price is like whatever. You know what I mean? You have no idea what it's going to be and when. You know, I just know in my heart of hearts, in my, in my opinion, it's just going to go up eventually. It's going to go up at some point. If you want to look at, you know, all of the great news about Bitcoin, whether it's bad or good, but it's great in terms of its, uh, you know, impact and its importance and, you know, it's, um, you know, kind of keeping up with the way the world is reacting to Bitcoin in real time, jump on Twitter, get you a Twitter account and go and get you Bitcoin archives, man, or documenting Bitcoin. Um, you follow that account and you will stay up to date with a lot of what's happening in the space, a lot of news from all over the world. Now, you know, today um, I wanted to talk about, you know, Bitcoin as the foundation for, you know, what can potentially be and, and it can potentially be this, but it's an egalitarian society, right? A society based on freedom, justice, equality, regardless of race, creed, class, color, sex, you know, whatever, sexual preference, etc., gender. So, um, and that, you know, I don't care who you are, you should, I don't care what your political stance, your religious stance or whatever, I don't care what it is, you should be advocating for you know, a society built on principles like that, because if, you know, I can discriminate against one person, then eventually I can discriminate, discriminate against all people. You know what I mean? Like your particular demographic or background or category, you know, or political side or whatever is not immune to discrimination if nobody is immune to discrimination. So like, so like with Bitcoin, it cannot be confiscated out of a wallet. Like I have to, I have to voluntarily divulge the access to the wallet in order for someone to confiscate it. Whether it's a government or a bad actor, an individual hacker, you know, terrorist, etc., whatever, right? Um, okay. Now, if only Bill Gates could have the security that Bitcoin has, but I couldn't, right? then eventually a hacker or a government is going to find a way to hack Bill Gates. You know what I mean? Because there, there's something in the system inherently that allows for somebody to get hacked, right? So then that creates an opportunity for someone to find a pathway to hack everybody, right? And so, you, you know, if you want things to be good for you, right, if you want things to be going well for you as an individual or your loved ones, then by, you know, the motivation for your own self perseverance, uh, yeah, perseverance, and your own motivation for self-determination, right, then you should want that for everybody else. And, and that, it, because it would help you individually, right, that is, you know, the kind of society we should be building. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, okay? Now, well, let's talk about money, right? 
money is the way it's like the medium of exchange today it's medium of exchange unit of account and what do you call it medium of exchange unit of account and um i forgot what the third principle is of money medium of exchange unit of account i forgot anyway there's three things that it does. I forgot the third thing, but it's important, right? And that's really all we, we do. Oh, store value. That's it. Medium of, of exchange, unit of account, store value, right? That's what money needs to be, okay? Um, and what you do with the money is you trade your productivity, right? Whether it's efficient or it's inefficient, whether it's manual labor or not, whether it's the sale, the sale and, or purchase of property, or whatever it is, right? The lending of debt, you know, whatever it is, it's it's money, it's those three things based on your productivity, right? Some people have to grind from nothing and build up their productivity into something spectacular, right? Uh, or, you know, something that's at least spectacular to them. Some people are born into some, you know, a, a, a situation based on the productivity of someone who came before them, right? But either way, those three properties of money are the attributes of the commodity that you would trade your productivity for, okay? All right, all right, I know this a lot. It's kind of like, you know, um, macroeconomics, like the foundation of it anyway, right? Like the, the esoteric or, or you know, um, economic theory, like the very foundation before we could even talk about anything else. We're just talking about the mechanics, the principles, the concepts that govern your ability to use money effectively and efficiently, right? Now, throughout history, there have been many uh, types of money that have been used to be a unit of account, store value, uh, and unit of account, store value. Oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even uh, remember what the third property is. I, why can't I remember it? I can only, I can only remember two at a time. Unit of account, store value, and medium of exchange. Right? Okay. You know, it's been seashells, it's been tulips, it's been shekels, it's been gold coins, copper coins, it's been all kinds of stuff. You know, gold itself, platinum. Uh, diamonds, you know, jewels, whatever, right? All of that, you know, all those different ways of doing that are only for me a measure, you know, a store value, medium of exchange, unit of account for the basis of trading for productivity. You know, you can argue for things like the barter system, right? But let's say like you basically have everything you need, right? Then you say, well, I, I, won't, I don't, I don't want to work anymore, right? But what if you want to get more of what you already have? You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, so if I want more land, right? Yeah, I could raise, all, raise more cattle and trade the cattle for land. I could do that, you know what I mean? But what if I want to keep the cattle too? What if I just want more of what I already got, right? Then I can trade my productivity for money, right? I can take something that I have an excess of that I don't mind trading, you know, for money, or I can trade my manual labor or my time or my intelligence or whatever, you know what I mean, my talent for money. And because I can do that, that allows me to, um, you know, acquire more of what I don't have, right? Or more of what I already have, something like that, whatever, right? Okay, now, here's where the problem exists in all of the systems where we've tried to use a form of money is that the people who create the money the people who create the money you know essentially ruin the store value in most cases that's the most popular one right you know sometimes they ruin the unit of account where they mess up on the ledger per intentionally right that's keeping track of how much money or how much of that, yeah, how much of that money, whether it's seashells or tulips or whatever, or money or dollars, you know what I mean? But they keep track of that money, they messed up the unit of account in their favor, and now you're down less money than you should have, and you have no recourse, right? That messes up unit of account. That's because somebody was trusted to keep track of this, you know, measurement, 
and was not able to like you know do it in a way that was either trustworthy or competent but either one leads to the same road you know what i'm saying um in terms of uh medium of exchange you know what i mean when you look at countries that are on the brink of collapse their native currency tends to be the one that gets abandoned for uh you know in favor of currencies that come from outside of that country you know what i mean so in russia it, you know the soviet union collapses you don't want um you know russian what was it was it rubles something like that you don't want that anymore now somebody comes in with dollars you're like yeah yeah i want that i don't want the rubles you can keep those i don't want to trade you know i have food and it's only good for today i don't want to waste it on somebody who's coming in with rubles i want somebody who's coming in with dollars right that's what would happen you know you bribe guards with dollars you know you you pay your landlord with dollars you know you tell him hey shh, don't don't tell anybody i'm here he's taking it why he wants dollars he doesn't want rubles <laughs> you know what i mean he doesn't want that his everybody's survival in the way that they trade their productivity in order to acquire the goods and services that they need to live right whether it's which is mostly food clothing shelter dude they want a currency that's going to be you know accepted as a medium of exchange right and typically that's the one with the best uh store value right which is the the biggest component here that we're going to talk about today the u.s dollar terrible store value other fiat currencies are even worse but today and nowadays you know with the with what's happened in the last two three years and the amount of inflation that's been that's occurred that has created a situation where um you know everything's messed up man the dollar the mechanics of the dollar is trash it's absolute garbage uh the, the tokenomics of it is garbage and uh, you're seeing a mass exodus of people who are paying attention you know to, to look for an alternative currency now look the central component that poisons the mechanics of all those other things I mentioned, right? All those other um, attributes for money, unit of exchange, I mean, medium of exchange, unit of account, store of value, and, be, and being able to trade your productivity for something that possesses all three, the thing that messes all that up has always been centralized control, okay? They, you know, before that, we could not have decentralized control because in, you know, prior to the internet, there was really no way of under, you know, of creating a platform that could facilitate decentralized control. But because of the internet and blockchain technology, et cetera, et cetera, Satoshi Nakamoto, now you have the possibility of uh, a system that exists that does not have one person or group or entity or institution or government or bank or army controlling the money this is a big thing here right and so now that you have you don't have one central group controlling the money then you don't have one central group taking advantage of their power uh betraying the trust of the public being dishonest uh, hoping that you don't understand the mechanics of the system that gives them the opportunity to rob you, which is what we're having, what we're seeing today. You know what I mean? And on top of that, the biggest thing is that now you don't have a uh, group of people, a single group of people, or entity, or person, or king, or pri president, or army, or bank, or company. You don't have this person's bias to or for a particular group. Okay, affecting the currency that's used by everyone to trade for their productivity. You know what I mean? And that is a huge, 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 massive foundational piece in order for a society to move towards an egalitarian society, a society based on freedom, justice, and equality. It's essential that you have a, a, a monetary system that doesn't discriminate. What have we had in not only the, the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 80s, and 90s, 70s, you know, 2000s, all the way up to now, what have you had, man? You've had the ability, and it's been documented, not just back in the day, but even as, as uh, recently as like 2015, you know what I mean? Not only banking institutions, but credit bureaus, governments 
having a bias towards a particular group of people, you know, specifically uh, blacks and other minorities, you know, in terms of how financial mobility is stifled through either store value, storing your money, unit of account, you know, sometimes they're opening up credit cards and bank accounts in the names of these people, you know what I mean? And um, medium of exchange, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, the, the lack of freedom to utilize different methods of exchanges has caused us to rely solely on the centralized authorities preferred medium of exchange which they control in, in, in its entirety you know what i mean and so you know something like bitcoin and maybe it's not bitcoin maybe i don't th- i don't think that's the case i think it absolutely will be bitcoin maybe it's not but i believe that you know you need to have a system based on you know freedom justice and equality but not because of trust not because you know or this person is so honorable as that they should be trusted to do it. No, you need to build that into the fabric of the mechanisms that govern how people earn, spend, and save money. You know what I mean? And from there, now, you can level playing fields. You can begin to build in ways that don't allow for discrimination, that don't allow for, you know, the misappropriation of taxes, you know, the, the um, you know, whatever, right? you know, you name it. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that's wrong with society today that stems from foundational um, flaws in the way it's built because of finance, which is, it, it is, you know, finance is like, all right, look, if, if, you know, your brain is connected to your, your spinal cord, right? If that's how we're built, let's say society you know, the things about society that you love is are the parts of your body. It's your hands, it's your brain, your spinal cord, your lungs, your, your liver and all that. Money is like the blood of your society. You know what I'm saying? It is connected to and through all of it. You know what I mean? All of it. It's, it's perverse through the entire or pervasive through the entire, you know, uh, system, the entire organism, your entire body, every, every single part of it. So, you know, in order... To fix, you know, they say with trees, I used to grow some plants, and they say when you want to improve the health of a plant, you have to improve the health of the soil. You know what I mean? That's how you're going to get to the plant. And, you know, the, the, the money is like the soil of our society. You know what I mean? From there, right, now if we don't have to worry about freedom, justice, and equality from a financial perspective, now we can start to focus on the social impacts and the societal impacts because now not one entity or group can have the power to discriminate over another one it's one thing if you think it in your head like you know there's i've met a a lot of racist people i've interacted with a lot of racist people in my life you know what i mean and i i don't want to change their mind i don't care if they're racist they could be whatever they want they could think whatever they want i just want to be able to think and do whatever i want you know what i mean as long as i'm not hurting anybody and i don't want their input and control over what I do. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't want to have input or in, in control over what they do. We should both have the freedom to be who we are. And so that's my two sets. Uh, thanks for checking in with me and checking out this video. I love you. Be safe. Peace.